we are given a graph and we're asked to answer various questions. So part A wants us to find the function's domain. The domain is just the set of all of the inputs. So let's click this little magnifying glass here and see if we can find it. So it's all of the x's. So we can pick any x on this number line and we're always going to get a y value. So that means every single x is in the domain of this function, right? So the domain should be negative infinity to infinity because if I pick an x here, I get a y value. If I pick an x here, I get a y value down here that's off the screen. So we can pick any x we want and we always get a y value. So the domain is all real numbers. Now it wants the answer in interval notation. So it's parentheses, negative, and then the infinity symbol is here, comma, infinity, parentheses. Then we click check answer, and there it is. Now we want the function's range. So the range is all the possible y values. So I'm gonna go back to the magnifying glass and see what's up. So this goes down forever. So you always go from the bottom up for the range. So it'd be negative infinity all the way to this point right here. So this point right here is negative one, two, three. So yeah, negative three. So it'd be negative infinity all the way to negative three. Negative infinity all the way to negative three. So I'm gonna go back here, parentheses, negative infinity, comma, negative three. And we wanna use a bracket because we're including the negative three. There's no hole or anything funny going on, so it's being included. So hit check answer. All right, we got it right. The x-intercepts are where the graph crosses the x-axis. So if we click on our magnifying glass, you'll see that the graph, it's going down. It's never actually crossing the x-axis. So in this problem, there's actually no x-intercepts. So I'm gonna go back here and click, there is no x-intercept. Then it says uh, the y-intercept, so let's check that out. So that's where it crosses the y-axis. Looks like it crosses it at negative five. So in this case, negative five would be the y-intercept because that's where the graph crosses the y-axis. So negative five, it says type an integer, okay. There we go, good stuff. Then we want function values. We want, oh, it wants them both at the same time, okay. So f of negative three and f of zero. So f of negative three is the y value when x is negative three. So let's see, one, two, three. So this is x equals negative three. So the y value here is one, two, three, four. So negative four, negative four, negative four, negative four. And then this is evil because we can't click check answer until we enter the other one. <laughs> it's tough. All right, so f of zero, that's the y value when x is zero. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah, negative five, right? We had that, that's the y-intercept. <laughs> so negative, negative five, too much fun. Okay, here we go, moment of truth. Yes, and we got it right. So I hope that made sense.